Good morning. It's Sunday. Today is a uh, Bible passage is based on Mark 6, 45 to 52. Um, it's about Jesus walking on water. So let's first uh, read the passage alternatively. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida while he, did, while he dismissed the crowd. After leaving them, he went up on a mountainside to pray. Later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake, and he was alone on land. He saw the disciples straining at the oars, because the wind was against them. Shortly before dawn, he went out to them, walking on the lake. He was about to pass by them. But when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out. Because they saw, they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately he spoke to them and said, Take your eyes, it is I. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely amazed. For they had not understood about the laws. Their hearts were hard on them. Alright, uh, let's get, read the key verse. We're sleeping together. Go. Because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately he spoke to them and said, Take courage, and I am not be afraid. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for um, giving us this uh, time to um, come together and uh, read your words uh, today and at this time. Please bless everyone here, and um, I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <coughs> so, let's move on to the first point of this uh, passage, and it's about... Jesus has authority over the earth. So, can you all read verses 45 to 47 together? Go! Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get in their boat and go on ahead of them to the city. While he was with the crowd. After leaving them, he went up on the mountainside to pray. Later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake, and he was alone on the So Jesus, in uh, his passage, sends his disciples to Bethsaida um, by a boat, and then he retreats uh, to a solitary place to pray on the mountain. And so this is also after they fed the 5,000, so you can imagine how tired they must have been um, after feeding everyone. Um, and so while the disciples were sailing, they faced strong winds, and even though the, some, some of them were experienced uh, fishermen, uh, they still struggled um, against the wind, and so they were overcome by the storm, unable to control the boats. And so Jesus comes to his disciples by walking on the water, which demonstrates his power, um, and that even nature is subject to him. And in Jewish uh, culture, the sea symbolizes evil and chaos, and so this is where like the forces of disorder reign. And so, when Jesus was walking on water, um, it, it reveals his authority to control what the disciples feared. And the absence of Jesus also. Um, reveals that he was always with us, even though he wasn't physically in the boat, um, he was still in control. Um, and so this reminds us that Jesus isn't bound by human limitation. And it's also important to note um, that the disciples weren't able to recognize Jesus. Um, and it also seems that they weren't aware that Jesus do such things like walking on water. Um, even though they were close to Jesus, they still didn't fully understand uh, his power. And so, this shows that humans often uh, underestimate God's power when they are faced with overwhelming obstacles. And so, this is a reminder to grow our faith and trust in Jesus because he does things that are beyond our understanding. We can take comfort in Jesus because he is omnipotent, um, a sovereign ruler um, over everything, and 
nothing is too great for Jesus and his sovereignty not only extends to the physical stones but also the emotional ones too um, and only he has authority and mastery over it so Jesus uh, can calm us um, when we are facing uh, storms in our life um, yeah do you guys have any comments or questions? Right. Let's move on to the second point, which is Jesus knows our weaknesses. Uh, let's read verses 48 to 52 together. Go. He said his disciples, staring at the oars, because his wind was against them. Truly, before dawn, he went out to them, walking on the lake, who was about to pass them. But when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out, because they all saw him and were So Jesus seeing the disciples uh, straining at the oars means that he was always watching for, um, watching them <clears throat> and the, the disciples left earlier in the evening um, and it says that Jesus came before shortly um, before dusk which means that the which means that the disciples were um, on the sea for many hours and fighting against the storms and in some other passages it said that um, it was like uh, fourth about noon or something like that so that was around like three to six o'clock when Jesus arrived at the, at the sea and they were probably starting to doubt uh, and becoming anxious and exhausted uh, after making so a little progress on uh, the sea, but the moment when Jesus comes to their rescue, it's important because he didn't reveal himself immediately but after hours of hardship. So what do you think this reveals about Jesus? Okay, so although Jesus sees our struggles, he allows us to um, go through and experience and endure the hardships. And just like how Jesus appeared to the disciples at their lowest point, Jesus comes and appears to us when we have no more strength left. The timing of Jesus shows that his help doesn't align with our expectations. It comes at the right time, uh, not too early or not too late. So sometimes uh, we might feel abandoned at times. We need to remind ourselves that God is always watching over us and He is aware of our struggles. He, in he, he intervenes and delivers us from our challenges at the right moment. And the way that Jesus appears before his disciples is, is significant because he could have come to storm maybe like beforehand or maybe on the shore. Um, and so it reveals that Jesus comes in miraculous ways. And so when Jesus um, comes to support us, he does so in a way that reveals his divine uh, nature and reminds us to, to bring our focus to Him. The disciples um, had fear planted in them, so when Jesus appeared before them, they were afraid because they thought that Jesus was a ghost. And so Jesus um, tells them, take courage, beside, don't be afraid. <clears throat> All right, so this serves as a reminder uh, that they are always lost uh, and to focus on our hardships and that we don't realize when Jesus is approaching us. Jesus saying, take courage, it, it is I, don't be afraid, is more than just comforting us um, and he commands us 
and reminds us of who He is. And so Jesus wants us to look beyond our struggles and recognize uh, His presence um, and commands that we put our trust in Him. And so we should shift our focus from our surroundings and anchor our hearts in Jesus. Um, he gives us strength and courage to overcome our challenges. Um, it is also revealed that the disciples were spiritually like hardened and blinded, because even though they witnessed like the five loaves and two fish, feeding the five thousand, um, they were reluctant to fully grasp Jesus' true power, and they they feared the storm and were too focused on the testing and not um, looking up to Jesus. Alright, <clears throat> you guys have any comments, questions? Alright, so can you say together, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid? Take it together, go. Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's watch a video. Yes, actually the video isn't important, so uh, so we cannot watch the video. Huh? Do our drama. Our drama. Yeah. Quiet. Our drama. Okay, no, that's a different one. I just said that. Okay. <coughs> so actually the video isn't available, so we'll skip that actually. Uh, no, we're gonna come later. Okay, so let's uh, read the keywords together, verse 50 together. Go. Because they all saw him and were terrified, and he spoke to them and said, Take courage, be desired, and don't be afraid. Alright, uh, can you share what did we learn starting from Vicky? I learned that we should, that hardships, can, we should know the hardships blind us from seeing um, who Jesus is, and that Jesus is the master of all things, so we can trust in Jesus and he can take care of our uh, all our all our worries and our matters and entrust it to the, entrust it to Jesus and that's it. Yeah. That's one thing I learned. Okay, nice, thanks. Nice. James? Uh, I learned that Jesus allows us to be challenged and he he lets us go go to go through struggles. So that we can like rely on him, and I also learned that uh, Jesus in, is in control. He's fully in control of everything. And that's it. All right, those are good points. You guys talked about. Uh, all right, let me end this uh, time by prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you uh, for the time uh, to read your word and uh, help us to always rely on you and. Um, help us to trust you because you are in control of our life um, and whenever we face uh, challenges um, or storms in our life um, help us to come back to you and um, rely on you uh, for strength and courage and, and I pray in the name of Jesus, Amen.